everyone, I'm back with my October favorites. And this is my first time filming a monthly favorites video. Usually I would put one of them on my blog, which is Lisa Loves Makeup 87. In case you guys didn't know, I also have the link uh, in the info bar. But this time I decided to do a video on my tour favorites just because I just want to try it out and see if it's any easier than taking pictures and typing it all out. Because I like to go a lot of detail into my monthly favorites. They're kind of like little monthly, um, not <laughs> little mini reviews. That's what some people would um, call them. Whenever I would type them up in my um, blog post, I was just adjusting my camera. But let's just get right into it. So the first product that I have, which is a MAC blush. And this one, I think this came in a collection, um, the Extra Dimensions collection, or no, actually I don't remember. But it came around that time when that um, collection came out. I'm not sure if it's a permanent shade or not, but it's Peony Petal and it's a satin blush. Let's see if you guys can see that. That's what it looks like. It's really, really pretty. And I, it, I, when I bought this, I didn't. it was my first time buying a MAC blush and this is still my first and only uh, MAC blush. But I didn't know it was a satin color, and I was kind of disappointed when I got home. Because it's really sheer, but I mean, for my skin tone, I think I like sheer blushes a little bit more. Just that light pink. So this is definitely what I've been using pretty much every day for October. It's just a really pretty blush. And then for my bronzer, I've been using the Physicians Formula Bronze Booster in light to medium. I've really been loving this. It is a little bit pricey for a drugstore bronzer, but I think it's really worth it. I mean, once I um, use all this up, I'm just going to probably try getting the medium to dark. I'm sorry if you can hear this clicking, but yeah, it comes with a powder too, but I took it out. Sorry, I can see people walking outside my house. But I really like um, using this to contour. I'm not sure if you can, kinda, I'm not sure if you can see it because the light is washing it out, washing my face out. But I really like this. I mean, I think, I know that NYC Sunny Bronzer is pretty popular among the beauty community. But I think if you have the like, yellow undertones and, you know, Asian like me or whatever. I, sorry, you can't, sorry, that's annoying noise. But you might actually like this just because, like, um, if you have yellow undertones already, I think, in my opinion, the NYC Bronzer kind of looks a little, goes on orangey. So you might want to give this a try because I think it will really um, complement your skin better. And then the next one is my foundation, which is the CoverGirl Outlast Day Fabulous 3-in-1 Foundation. I've really been liking this ever since I bought it. I've been wearing it every day in October and November as well. I'm wearing it today. And I really like this. I want to really <clears throat> say that it's full coverage. I do have um, some freckles and blemishes around. So I always have to wear about two coats just to cover some of it up. And I used to have to put concealer over it. So I want to really say it's like um, concealer in here. But so far it's pretty good. It lasts every day. Um, it lasts all day on me. Except for my nose, which is right here. I guess gets kind of greasy. You can kind of see how shiny it is. But <clears throat> it doesn't last that long, my nose. And I don't even touch my nose like throughout the day. I don't like go like that or whatever. It, it always rubs off right there for some reason. But so far, it's been pretty good. I really like it. And then, um, for my eyes, I have two palettes. Um, this one is, one of them is the Too Faced Naked Eye Palette. I bought this at Sephora for $20 when they had their um, 21 Days of Beauty. I'm sorry I'm talking kind of fast because my phone camera doesn't have that much uh, memory. But, so I've been using this shade a lot. As you can see, there's also, this is like the only shadow in this whole palette. I have a pretty much a huge huge dent in but I've been living that um which is sash sheets and then either pillow talk or like a virgin in my crease and then this shade which is lap dance in the outer corner or sometimes I use this as a crease too and this one in the buff as my brow bone highlight I really like this palette it's a great everyday palette if you um love everyday shades <laughs> and then my next one is the Stila in the moment palette I I really like this palette I just wish they did better with the packaging. It's just kind of plain. There's no mirror in here either. So that's kind of a disappointment if you're bringing this to travel with. But I love how this has both purples and um, browns. Makes it like the perfect um, neutral palette. So what I really love is... I love the browns right here. You can pretty much create a lot of looks using these. And then I also love the purples in here. Whenever I wear the purples in here, I always get compliments. 
So I will wear this in my own inner corner. And I'll wear this all over the lid. And then I will wear this in the outer corner. And then this as my crease. And sometimes this to darken it up. And then every time I do that, I always get compliments. So if you love purples and and like browns and everything, you might want to try this palette. It's really good. I really like it. And then for my eyes, I've been using two mascaras every day. I've been um, using them together. One, this one is Almay One Coat Get Up and Grow. <clears throat> I tried this out because I heard um, Emily Noel, I think 83, mentioned this a lot. Like she really loves this. She said, I think uh, um, it claims to lengthen your la lashes, but for me, I guess because I have like really short Asian stick thin lashes, it just gives me volume. And then for length, I like I love combining it with the um, Rimmel Lash Accelerator, the pack, the um, wording pretty much broke off. But I love combining these two together. Let me show you the brushes real quick. So these are the brushes, as you can see. This one is the white one is the Alme, and the the lime or yellow lime green one is the Rimmel. But I really like these two brushes. The only problem is that um, with the Alme, sometimes you can see as it it gets goopy at the end, so I always have to kind of scrape it off. But then that's no problem. I really like using these together. And then um, another eye favorite is my Tarte Lash Curler. I bought this last year during the holiday collection. I love the packaging. It's so cute. I love, I mean, when I first got this, I hated it just because it's so, I feel like it's so wide for my eyes. But now I, I just love it. I use it every day. I used to use the e.l.f. Studio one, but I stopped using that ever since when that one fateful time where I um, curl my lashes. And then it pretty much cut my lashes on this eye and um, cut them off. So these are a little bit shorter, but I think now they're pretty much the same length. So uh, ever since that, I don't use the Elf Studio one anymore. Or the, what's the one? It's the one with the black handle, but I've been using this a lot. I love it. Um, it's been almost a year and I still haven't replaced the pad yet. I mean, that's really how good, good it's been. And then for my, let's see what else. <clears throat> for my shampoo and conditioner, I've been using the uh, um, Clear Scalp and Hair Therapy in the Volumizing Root Boost. I haven't noticed any um, volume in my hair since I used it. My hair is still kind of flat. But I mainly use it just because um, my hair... Oh, sorry, it's so wet. I just grabbed it from the shower. <laughs> but um, my hair... Um, it doesn't get, my scalp doesn't get itchy or anything, but sometimes, especially during the winter, I get some, um, it gets dry pretty right here. And then, like, around this area right here, my forehead to this part of my hair. I don't know why, but it always gets dry there. <clears throat> so I've been using this a lot. And then it, so far, ever since I started using it, it hasn't been getting dry in this area at all. I really love it, and it smells so good. And I feel like it really does keep my hair clean for like a, for a long time. I don't like washing my hair every day, so these are the perfect. Like if you if you're someone whose hair gets like pretty oily, you might want to give this a try, and then you might end up liking it. It's really nice. I like it. <clears throat> and then um, I only have two fairs left. I think yeah. So this one is the Up and Up Nail Polish Remover Dip It. And it has acetone in it. <clears throat> if you're one that uh, wears a lot of glitter nail polishes, you might want to give this a try. Because ever since I bought this, I've been wearing glitter a lot. And it removes them like so easily. I'm not sure you can, can see because I don't want to spill any. But it has like, um, instead of that sponge, oops, I got some on me. Shoot. Except for that, that um, sponge thing where you dip it in, it has kind of like little brushes. I'm not sure because I don't want to spill. I'm so aware I might spell because this is like pure, almost like pretty much pure acetone. The only problem that I have with it is that it does dry out your fingers so quick. Because keep in mind it is acetone. So whenever I use it, I, my pretty much I would like dip this part in. This whole part would be like white and dry. So I'll, I always have to like wash my hands after it and then moisturize it like crazy. That's the only problem I have with this. But other than that, it removes glitter so quick. All you do is just... Um, put your finger in there and just go in like that or you just swirl around and glitter comes off so easily. <clears throat> you can find this at Target. It's the Up and Up brand. And then also my last um, favorite is the L Studio Makeup Remover Exfoliating Cleansing Cloth. 
I bought this a while back when they had their 50% off. I'm not sure if um, I posted my haul yet before this video, but if I did, you guys can check it out. I'll have the link in the info bar. I really like these. These um, are probably my new favorite uh, makeup cleansing cloth, which is crazy because I love their their original ones. But the, but the only thing that I hate about these is that there's only like 10 sheets, whereas the other one, they contain 20. So this is like half the cloth. Half the products, but for the same price. So that's the only thing. The thing that I like using it is because one side has exfoliating beads, and the other side is just your plain wipe. So I would use a plain wipe just to um, take off my eye makeup and then remove everything. I don't know about waterproof mascara just because I don't use waterproof mascara all the time. Only when it's like raining outside when I'm going to the beach. But I I just like um, swipe. It doesn't irritate my eyes or anything. So I just wipe my um, eyes and then my eye makeup. And I'll turn it over onto the exfoliating side and I'll clean off the rest of my face makeup. And I just love it. And it makes my skin like feel really soft. So yeah, if you haven't tried um, their, this yet, give it a try. Actually, if you haven't tried any of the products I featured here, just give it a try. You might end up liking it. And if you want to see review on any of these or swatches, I think I have um, a blog post on this. I'll probably, if I can find it. I'll link it in the info bar and then um, as well as probably for these mascaras but other than that uh, I might have swatches on this one but yeah so if you have any other questions just leave a comment below and don't forget to subscribe and like this video and I think that's pretty much it yeah so I have the rest of the links for everything and all the information down in the info bar and yeah so I hope you guys have a good day hope you guys like this video and yeah so <laughs> I don't know what else to say so Okay, thank you so much for watching and have a good day. Bye!